easy life. I was worried it was upside down then for a minute. <laughs> right, one of the courses I totally forgot. And it was one of the first ones I did before I did Rika and I did Reiki. I did any of them actually. Was the beautiful course with Lorna Byrne. It was a 21 day adventure, an angel adventure. Now, I don't know as she does them often. I haven't seen her offer them again, but she does have a beautiful book called Angels in My Head. And that is something that I would recommend to anyone to read. If you're into angels, if you believe in any of those things, uh, that book is really beautiful. It really opens up your heart to the possibility, you know, of angels coming in. It was through her course with the 21 day angel adventure that I met my guardian angel and she taught us that everyone has a guardian angel and I believe that because everyone has a soul everyone has a spirit so why would God not want us to have a beautiful guardian angel to protect that divine spark that is within each and every one of us so yeah I, I fell in love with her message I fell in love with her book and uh, it was actually through her course that I met my guardian angel. And at the time, I didn't know that I, what I was seeing was real. I learnt much later that a lot of the things I was seeing that I thought I was imagining uh, were actually real. <laughs> so I talked to him for about a couple of months and then I started Rika's course, um, the Self Love Mastery course. And I stopped talking to him because I thought he wasn't real. You know, I thought, oh, it's all very nice, but I thought I was making it up in my head. And it was funny because it took me back to a time in my childhood where my mum said that before I was five, I was constantly talking to an imaginary friend. And I'm thinking now, you know, all these years later, I wonder if it was my guardian angel that I was talking to because I could still see them, you know? <laughs> so, or maybe one of the angels because I have a very strong connection with Archangel Michael as well. So it might have been him, but for some reason, when my mum reminded me of that recently, that I had an imaginary friend, my guardian angel was the first thing that came into my mind. Almost like he was trying to remind me, remember? <laughs> you used to talk to me all the time when you were little. So, yeah, it's really lovely. So, yeah, um, Lorna Byrne, I would suggest her books as well. She talks about the angels a lot. She could see them from when she was, from when she was born, I guess, from really, really little. That's in her book. So um, that's something that you may want to read as well to expand because I find, you know, a lot of people that are evolved, they've read a lot of different books. They don't just stick to, like, for example, in mine, where I grew up in the Catholic Church, we read the Bible lots and lots and lots, right? But people that become evolved, they read a lot of different books from different religions and they realize that there's an underlying message in all of them. And that's the commonality, like the common message is the message that God is trying to give to all of us. And that's what they pick up on, you know? So, yeah, I just, um, I find that really, really interesting. So it doesn't matter if you believe or if you don't believe, you know, in the angels or whatever's out there, you know? Um, I'm not here to make anyone believe in anything. Uh, one of my messages is my main mm, purpose, I feel, is to help people um, resolve the trauma of the past. Uh, understand that you needed that to become the person that you are today. Uh, on a soul level, you chose that experience. And I know for many of you, that's a really difficult thing to get your head around. But when you've been here many, many times on earth to have all of these different experiences and you've done everything else, you know, you come in thinking, well, I wonder what it feels like, what experience, what it would be like to have that experience. Now that I've done everything else, what would it be like to do that? Would it be, what would it be like if I was this kind of mother? What would it be like if I was this kind of daughter? And my mother was, you know, at all of the whole circumstances, the whole situation of what you grew up with. 
whatever it was, whether there was disease, whether there was illness, whether there was death, abuse, whatever it was that you came to experience on a soul level, it was chosen before you came on a soul level. So I'm just going to let you sit with that. Sit with your soul. You know, it's such an important thing to find quiet time and sit with your soul and ask. Ask your soul. Why did you choose to have these experiences? What were we, you and your soul, what were we meant to gain from this? And it may have something to do with forgiveness. It may have something to do with compassion. It may have something to do with a level of kindness. Just really look at it. It's usually to do with forgiveness. But all of these things take us into more love, into more expansion in love. Our love expands even more. with these experiences, with understanding what our parents were going through. I had such a, an aha moment the other day thinking of when I was yelling at my daughter when she was little. I stopped when she was about five, she started kindy, uh, because I resolved it, I healed it. But for me, the biggest gift was that uh, I could understand what my mother was going through. That to me was the biggest gift. And so now looking back at her, I have nothing but compassion. I don't feel pain anymore, I, I can't. After all she's been through and that's the best that she could do, I have nothing but compassion because I know now how she felt. I know what she was going through to have behaved in that way towards me. And many times that is what it's about. Sometimes, actually I think, yes, we can understand it when we see ourselves doing it. You see it more, it's more obvious in others then. When you've done it, when you've done those deeds that you think, oh, you know, were painful. You had to endure all of that when you were a child. And then you see yourself doing it as a grown-up. And you go through all the feelings, what they were feeling as they were doing that. How bad it makes you feel inside. Because every time I yelled at her, I felt bad. You know, it would make me feel like crap. As a human being, you know, yelling at my daughter. For something that wasn't even her fault. You know, I'm just taking it out on her. It had nothing to do with her while I was yelling at her, but she was just there. So I'm just going to yell at her for my frustrations. That's basically what it always came down to. And it wasn't until I went through that that I fully understood what my mum went through. And then it was so easy to forgive and let it go. So easy. So many times experience when we are doing the same as what was done to us is that we can feel inside how bad they were feeling if it's something that's not coming from the heart it's not coming from a place of love then through those actions through those words is that we can feel inside how bad makes us feel as a human being you know so experience that's what the experience is for Roman darlings I love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video bye for now